It goes without saying that the new Dodge Dart is a whole lot better than the Dodge Caliber that it's replacing. It goes without saying because, well, my apologies to you Dodge Caliber owners out there, but your car is really bad. This one, for starters, is a whole lot better looking. The interior on this car is really nice, not just compared to a Caliber, but compared to pretty much anything in this class, it's really nice. This up-level limited edition version has two-tone stitching, leather on just about everything, a really nice design to it. You've got equipment here that you'd normally see only on a luxury car, like heated steering wheel, heated seats, you even got automatic high beam lights, all in a compact car that costs around $25,000. Now there are just two engine options to start with. There's a bigger non-turbocharged engine and a smaller turbo engine. That's what's in this one. Horsepower is actually exactly the same, but with a smaller turbo engine, you do get better fuel economy. However, the driving excitement's a little bit lacking. It's not exactly slow, but I would have hoped for a little better oomph on the gas pedal. Steering is nice, brakes are nice, ride quality is good, it handles really nicely. One thing I really don't like in this car is this six-speed manual transmission. It just doesn't feel very good. Shifting gears should be fun. And in this car, it's just work. Not a lot of feel to it. Long distance from one gear to another. Blah. Later on, they're going to have a nice dual-clutch automatic transmission. For me on this car, I'd take that one. So it kind of depends on how you equip it, but for the most part, I'd say the Dodge Dart pretty much hits the target. Get it? Dart, target, I tried.